Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Down to Gadget. Today we're back here, we're playing Sally Face, exactly where we left off. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs, just like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. Alright, you lead the way. Larry and I will offer, offer support however we can. It's locked. Of those keys from Beckertons look like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. Carpet is torn up here. Looks like. Hmm. Guys, come check this out. Dude. be an under or an undocumented sub basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like. I had no idea this was here. The, the third key from Mrs. Packard fits this door. That must be down there. It's the only place that I can shoot could lead to. Let's go. This looks bad. Incredible. This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship. This is freaky as hell. Everything's coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Sometimes, but sometimes not. Let's hope that the malevolent history of this place remains in the past. You know, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanism to move the large gate. They must be built into the walls. It's likely that the Apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. First. Okay, we need to, or while playing a cell in the temple, walk to where Todd is and continue to the right until Sal walks off screen and enters a hidden room. Uh, what exactly do I do with this box thingy? I never did anything with it. Maybe I end up doing something with it here. Anyway. What's up, dude? I'm going away. It's empty. Oh, 
wait, there's our letter at the bottom with my name on it. Alrighty. Done that, we go to the left of the room and pick up a light bulb. Those obelisk thingies just got bigger. Scub it out. Well, while I'm here, let's talk with him. Intriguing. These green light system to be or systems. Or these green lights seem to be a part of a larger system. Once activated, their energy will transfer into the floor below. Additionally, they must be harnessing the same type of energy as the super gear boy emits. Since you were able to trigger them with it. What do you think that means? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. This technology isn't like anything I've dealt with before. However, it is likely that these things were used for something supernatural. Perhaps to even to summon the red-eyed demon. It's a good thing the cult isn't around anymore. The demon, too. After we find Ash, we should smash everything anyways, just in case. Actually, I'd like to study some of these things further. It may prove useful in some way. Mm -hmm. You really don't. Trust me, you don't. sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. Yeah, that sounds like the devourers of Gaul God cult. Trying to give me a heart attack? That scares the. Alright, that scared the blank out of me. Sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but that switch won't stay down. Todd, can you stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash. Will you make sure we don't get locked in? Sure, I can do that. No, 
home, but Ash is in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. Looks like there are two ways. We better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. Okay. Now, as Larry, we get to go this. Da, da, da. Here we are. Why do these things always happen to me? Gosh darn it. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So that call was useless after searching I entered through the doors in exactly this order. So So I went this way, right? Heh, <laughs> I got a rock. Yeah, a lighter, which is nice. Yeah, you gotta admit at least. First try right. So I went that way, I need to go the other way. Alright, then we go to the left first, and then we'll go right, and then we'll go to the right. Crud, this place looks like a maze. It is a maze. Not sure what that did. Figure how to open up this stupid gate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Open up the gate! Open up the gate! I do wonder. Oh, there's nothing there except spikes, which I'm not gonna go walking into. That'd be a dumb idea. Okay, um... something move in the next room.
here. I hath waited, or I hath awaited, they, uh, thy arrival, young sire. Me? You have? Yes. The bodement hast foretold of the one who haveth the power to ignite the necrolites without the performing of rituals. I hate to break it to you, guy, but I don't think I'm part of your bold mint... your bold mint thingamajig or whatever. This is just a video game system. My friend Todd modified it to produce a surge of electricity. I don't have any magical powers or anything. Twas thee who it's did summon. Is did summon. Her eyes did summon. Twas thee who is did summon I, and without the sacred sacred texts, tis you who I have waited. This I am certain of. My time here is brief, so I am. I must fulfill my obligation. Prithee taketh this letter. May the gods blesseth thee with a safe journey and the courage and strength for what lies ahead. What lies ahead? Never mind that. Every time. Before we get too far, what in the world is this? An old book with an uncovered. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made for a different type of wood. Fragile, or the frail green pages are covered with painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves better taste in my mouth. Which is why we're no longer going near that. Good timing. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is in the center of this place. It's the last room. It has to be back there. Pages are stiff and filled with bizarre script. Looking at it makes me tear up. I have a feeling deep in the sadness. I know this is the wrong way. I'm trying to figure something out.
I really need to know where in the world that last page is because I want to read this whole thing. right now so that I can of God. I can't. Then we found this old cellar door in the basement, and then we went down these long, creepy stairs, and then we found this crazy-ass cult temple and some stuff down here, and then there was all these puzzles and traps and mazes, and Todd! Todd is holding the front gate open for us. We should get back there. Wow, this is so much to take in. I can't believe all of this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Shoot. So, what are we going to do about all of this? Mrs. Packerton has killed a lot of people in the baloney. Baloney. Ugh. We can't ignore this. Definitely not. Or definitely. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and about Mr. Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in the cult as well. Even if the congregation has long since dissolved, she could have tumbled across the door, just as we have. Maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on her own. Don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her. Preferably, like, before that happens. I know, going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right. We should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Mrs. Packerton, maybe we should just kill her. She's so old, so it wouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry. Then we'd know better than her. Normally, I would be right, or I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys. Think about all the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen in Ashton apartment and in Knoxville in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. You explain the police cover-ups, Charlie and home. 
family murders. There are no telling how far this corruption reaches. God damn. Guess that makes sense. So, you were saying something similar earlier? Today, too. I don't know. Maybe it just fell on us to take care of it? Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are that about petty things like being normal and having nice hair. Not us, though. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. Gee, way to, uh, rub it in. Okay, I really need to go back. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, sort of, I think. Alright, let's see. Where where would this have auto-saved? Oh, thank god it auto-saved around here. Oh, thank god, yes! Page! Page, page, page! I need that page! It's the last journal page. Okay, I could skip that, uh, the other dialogue thing later on. But for now, I'm gonna have to end this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!